What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pomerization. You know what we do, guys. I guess there's a topic I want to talk about. I've kind of noticed that in discussions of other people and reading that online simulators are not a thing. I mean, no matter how you want to look at it, people from Konami, they want a better ban list. I know PPG Tour, they actually made their own ban list. People are up for that. But people have this one little theory that's pretty smart, I think. So, like, when you ever notice that I have, when you play online, that certain decks don't perform up to their height, or it seems like certain decks just don't want to work at all on certain platforms or certain simulators. So, for example, say you play a six-card deck, uh, I've noticed, like, depending on the variant of what cards you use, you will see certain cards more than others. Uh, a lot of three ofs or a lot of two ofs. That happens quite a bit, it seems. Um, for example, another thing that's different too because you got online, I don't know how certain simulators like Dueling Nexus, Dueling Book, I don't know how they shuffle or how they randomize the cards you get, I don't know, but there's a theory about how certain creators of those simulators, they want to make sure those decks do better than other decks, which will change the market as well, so that's one theory. Another theory is that without playing on paper that Konami can go by, because Konami doesn't fund, you know, none of these simulators or nothing at all. Another thing you gotta factor in is when you play in the real world, talk about shuffling, is when we get back to the real world, there are gonna be people that stack decks, mark their sleeves. I mean, that's part of any trading card game. That they're always gonna be cheaters and liars. That's part of it. I mean, there's the old saying, you ain't winning if you ain't cheating. That's just the way it is. But, it does make sense though, because certain people shuffle their decks a different way, people power shuffle a different way, you can play a deck all day, and you know after certain cards you use over and over and over, they're always going to be stacked together, especially when they're in a grave or something, they're going to be sticking together. So unless you know how to power shuffle real good, or really how to randomize your deck really good to help you consistency wise, that makes a difference. So, there could be decks right now that are great. I'm not saying these decks are bad in no shape or form. All deck, Every deck has potential in its own shape or form. But, for example, when Sky Striker won uh, at one online simulator, I mean, the simulator could be in this favor. That is a possibility. That is a theory on something. So, I'm not saying the deck's bad. It's a good deck. It's a good deck. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's had its fair share of wins and tiles. Even before similars and the whole virus thing happened. Not saying that. I mean, even Dinos. Dinos had a top, I think, even before they had the new support with the Bedazzled Alligator. Dinos good. I love Dinos. I got a bunch of buddies I play with that have Dinos. But it does make you think... It does make you think, in a way... Is it really, like, the simulators and online people, like, cheating? Because, I don't know how there, if there's hackers or not, but I have noticed there's a difference in the real world with a deck and online with a deck. Uh, for, I'm not putting none out there, but I'm saying there's one deck I play online, and it seems like it always bricks. And, well, I mean bricks, I mean it gives you nothing but two ofs. Like, I'll open with one card with two of it, and another card that's two of it, and they're just dead, ha dead in your hand. In the real world, when I, like, shuffle the deck, because I own every card that I play, I'm not going to say what deck it is, because then people are going to either say stuff that's bad or good. But when I go to locals, and it just, it, it, it dominates. It does a great job. A really good job. And you might say, oh, it's locals. I'm like, you're playing people that suck. Blah, blah, blah. My, my locals are good. I got people that's got their invites before. I got people that's talked a lot of places before. They're not playing, like, bad decks. I mean, there's actually, there's people in my locals that play Eldridge, Dinos, Adamancipators, um, heroes, I mean, everything you think of, it's it's at my locals. We usually get close to 20 people at, at the most, sometimes plus, especially on a good weekend. But, maybe it's just me, but I kind of want to agree with some of these people about the theories about it. Because, another thing that really spikes my interest more than anything is like how the market is going to change because of this. Um, not saying that, you know, people are going to blow their money with like stimulus check and buy everything like collective market and all that stuff but another thing that makes it more interesting online is another point i want to point out is that everything online is free 
That means you can play every expensive card, as many as you want, and not have no price on them. That's another reason Konami's not going to support none of this, because they're losing money. They're not making nothing out of this. So a lot of these people that went online and play online, they're doing it because it's free. They might spend $20 and then end up winning a lot of money. But when we come back to the real world, and go, real world and start doing paper tournaments and stuff, you might not never see these people again. They're just doing it because they're stuck at home. They need something to do, free money. And once the world goes back to revolving again, they're not going to go out here and pay like a hundred dollars for three Appaloosas each, and then get three pot of extravagance just so they can make sure they don't banish it. They're not going to do that. Um, but granted, there might be people out there that's going to blow their money. <laughs> There's people out there. They don't care what it is. They, they blow their money. God heaven knows why. People do. Which I always try to buy singles. Every once in a while, I'll do some boxes just so I can do box openings on here. But it does make it a different thing because people are going to misplay a lot more in the real world as well. Online, you can click, look at your graveyard, and you can see it right there. Using your graveyard, you got to shuffle through it. You got to look. And it makes a difference. More misplays are going to happen in the real world than you want online. You can actually see everything because it's right there. You ain't got to go far with it. Um, you just like, click here, click there. It's easy to see it all. And your your eyes see more of what you're going through and actually makes you know what you're doing. Um, but I think that's going to be another factor in the real world. People are going to misplay more. People are going to go too fast thinking they know what they're doing. I've been guilty of it. I know plenty of my people at local have been guilty of it. You get too fast thinking they know what you're doing. Next thing they realize, oh shoot, I messed up. I misplayed. You can't go back on your moves. So that that's something else you have to watch for. Um, I don't know. I just think when it all comes together, it kind of makes... I don't know. It's weird. I mean, maybe y'all can comment and tell me what you think about it, but it does make sense a little bit that like, the whole thing going like that. Certain simulators might be cheating. Not saying they are, but it's a possibility. And I know there's going to be haters saying, oh, you just suck on lines. Like, no, I've been playing like, I don't know, maybe 20 to 50 different decks. And just to see if this is true, there are certain decks that do not perform whatsoever. They just, they're good decks in real life, but when you play online, they just don't perform. So I'm wondering if there's a hate list that these creators make. They're just like, no, that's never going to win. No. I'd be like, nah, brick them. Brick them. Who cares? Let them suck. <laughs> you know? Um, but you know what, guys? That's kind of like a little discussion I want to talk about and see what y'all think about the whole thing. But you know what? Comment down below, guys. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Share my channel. Reach out, guys. I want to get to y'all. And you know what? Help everybody and you just keep the world going, boys and girls. Of course, don't leave you ladies out. But you know what? This is Polymerization, guys. Peace.